Good golly, Miss Molly. I'm just getting ready to get all of my stuff together to go back to Maui. I've been visiting my mother. Oops. Let me grab that. Now that one simple step I wasn't able to do at all a week ago. Okay? <laughs> because I tweaked my back. But I feel so much better now. And that's what this video is about. It's just going to be a short little video to show you all about what I did for my back. Okay? Now, I've had a bad back for about five days to a week, less than a week, and I feel so much better now. And last time this happened to me, it was about two and a half weeks. So I did a few things slightly different this time than I did last time. If you want to check that out, watch this video. The first thing, the first night, I could hardly sleep, and when I got out of bed, it took me about 15 minutes to get out of bed, but that's because I didn't have my mother's cane. <laughs> when you're in bed and you're moving around, you want to get up. If you have a cane around, hey, I don't care how old you are, but when you have just tweaked your back, you need to get yourself a cane. It will help you tremendously for the first couple days. You can set it here because every little bit is painful on your back and you can use this to support yourself. I mean, I literally could not sit here and, and do anything. I had to kind of figure out what to do. And with this, I could grab it and I could keep the weight kind of off my back and I could have this here and help me get up and all that kind of stuff. It really helped out. That's the first thing you need to know. I'm not going to do these in order or anything, but here's, here's something else that I was told. When you're on your back, what you want to do is you want to lift your legs up. You want to lift your legs up and grab them and cradle it like this. That takes the, that takes the tension off of your back. It kind of helps a little bit with it. You want to hold this as long as you can you know, maybe a minute or so, or however long you can, let off a little bit, you know, straighten your legs back down, and then do it again. You know, grab, grab your pants, whatever you have to do to get, to get it back up here. Do one at a time. If you can only do one, one leg at a time, do whatever you can, the best you can. And once you get up to this area here, don't start bouncing or anything like that. You just want to kind of hold it here for as long as you can, and then let off. And I'm still having to remember to do that. It's only been a little bit more than a week or so since my little tweak on the back. And I even had a belt, a back brace on and everything, but I still need to concentrate on doing this every, every so often. Each day at night when you're sleeping, when you're getting ready to sleep under the covers, whatever you have to do, that's a good exercise. Now here's something else you need to get. Something like this. This is called BioFreeze. And here it's even in a gel type area to where you can put a little bit of that on your back or you can spray it on there. This is kind of icy cold. And I just would lift, lift this up and spray some of this on there, rub it in a little bit. And it works really good. You can do something like that with uh, Bengay, Icy Hot, Anything like that. You just want to do something like that. And then if you have, what you need to do is you need to get yourself a little back brace. And don't wait until the second that your back starts hurting. Get something ahead of time. Now this, this is just an elastic one. It's got kind of a cutout that kind of goes up for your back. And it's very thin. See, it's not very thick at all. And so then you can put that on your back. And what you could do too is you can put it on the inside of your pants because it's very thin, stretch it out to however you feel it's good, and then um, you can put that on first, and you can pull your pants up over that if you want. During the day, I mean, you're only going to be able to do this for a while because then your, your back's going to feel kind of sore, but then you can kind of take this off and kind of lessen the pressure a little bit so that you barely have it on 
something like that. Okay, this is a must. Now here's something else you want to do. Let's go in the, let's go in the bathroom here because I got it in here. Let's see where it is. I guess it's in the cabinet here. And what could it be? This was something I didn't even think about using last time. And this is what I use, ibuprofen. Here, I got this at Walgreens, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at pretty much anywhere. This is 200 uh, milligrams, and there's 300 capsules in here. You know, I got a big bottle because I can always use this for toothaches, backaches, uh, pain reliever for, for all kinds of stuff. And I haven't taken any of these today, and um, I just take a couple of them. You can read the directions. Um, one at a time or two, whatever you got to do. And if you need to take those a couple times during the day, you can. Just read the directions on that. But that really helped out. Hey, something as easy as putting your socks and shoes on, I could not do that had it not been for Mother's cane. I had it set right there. And believe it or not, this really helps you get up and off the toilet, okay, off a chair, off your couch, whatever, okay? And so I could not literally put my socks on, so I would take this, grab that, set this over here, and if you have a chair, kind of like this one here, okay, something a little bit low and supportive, okay, and let's see if I can do it here, you just, you just have to pull your leg up as long as you can get it right to there. I mean, and I, and I could do it too without being able to bend down, then I could put my socks on. And, uh, you know, I pull this up, and as long as I can get it right there, I could not bend down here to do this. It took me like three days to be able to do that. I lift it up, get it right there, pull this on, and then for my shoes, I'd have them I'd have them, uh, see I couldn't even, I could not bend down like this, just that much. I could not do that. So I left my shoes tied, I grabbed the cane, and then I grabbed my back scratcher. You know, my back scratcher here. And then I would slip my shoe on, put my back scratcher here, and do this. I, I literally had to do this for quite a few days before I could bend down and stuff like that. And that kind of helped take the pressure off me. I think last time when I hurt my back, I didn't, I wasn't able to do any of this kind of stuff and it just took me that many more days to start getting better, okay? Just a few things like that will help you tremendously. I was trying to make this video short. And what else? I need to show you this thing here, okay? I don't know if I can get this all set up here properly so that you can see it in action. I think you can. There we go. This is a chi machine. It's called a chi machine. And if you don't have one, that's okay. But if you do have one or ask your friends about it, hey, does anybody have a chi machine? That kind of moves your back around and it's very good for kind of getting you back into position, okay? So, you just put your ankles there, and I put, I've got a couple socks here because this goes back and forth, and it, it, it kind of is annoying after a while. And you could do it without shoes on, obviously, okay? And this is just to turn it on. I've got a little head thing for me. You can use a pillow, whatever you want to do there, okay? And then just relax. I'm going to turn it on here. It only has one speed. This is all it does. It kind of gets you back into sync your body. And you want to leave your body relaxed, breathe in and out, 
Don't tense up, just let your body go. Relax. Try to clear your mind. And that's a good thing for your back, okay? I don't know how much these, these machines cost. I'm just borrowing it from a friend. I wanted to especially show it to you. And that's something that will help for all kinds of things, okay? There you go. Now, what else can you do? Well, one of the things I found, and I was talking to some other people, and they said it was good too. After a couple days, get out there and walk. So I, I had a, there's a trail behind my mother's house, and I walked up to the nearest pond. It was about, oh, I don't know, maybe three quarters of a mile or so, and then I had to walk back. When I first got on there, I thought, oh man, there's no way I can walk that far. I'm just gonna go up a little bit and then turn around. Once I started going, I thought, nope, nothing doing. I'm gonna keep doing it one step after the other, one step after the other. And walking, believe it or not, is really good for a bad back such as what I had when I tweaked my back, okay? There's another tip for you. And another thing they also said, which I couldn't believe, they said ride a bike. After like three days, I thought, I don't even know if I can get on a bike, let alone sit there and pedal it and all that. But once I got up there and I sat there and I started pedaling, that took some of uh, the ache away from, the, from my back and I could sit up easier because as I was standing, I was literally like this and as I was walking, I. I was almost like a 95 year old man. You know that, I mean that's what I felt like. When you have a bad back, you know what I mean. I, I could not, there was no way I could straighten up. But once I got on the bike, I could straighten up. It just was an automatic thing. And so I did that too. It worked out really good. Now there's another thing that I did too and I wish I had it to show you here, but I went over to her friends and I used it over in their garage. And it was a table, it was kind of like one of those tilted, tilted things, you kind of, it's tilted up like this and you kind of lean on there and stand on there, you put your feet in and then um, you, you get it up off the ground and you push it up and then you're kind of upside down and it takes all the weight off your back. I don't know what those are called, an elevated uh, table or whatever you want to call it. And, you know, if you don't have something like that, maybe you know a friend who's got something, um, or you might want to invest in it if you periodically have problems with your back. It's that thing I'm almost thinking, you know, hey, where could I put one of those? If I had room, where could I put it? The money's not going to be the object for me. It's going to be if I, if my back ever goes out again, I could use that anytime I wanted, or even when my back's fine, it just takes the pressure off. You just lay there. Oh, it's pretty awesome. So if you get a chance to try one of those, do that too. Hey, so next time you tweak your back, I'm talking just, you know, reaching down and being like, oh, there, wait, oh, there it is. Oh, shoot. Something like that. Try all these different things I'm telling you about and also go and get a massage or something like that before you think about going to a chiropractor or going to the hospital, going to a doctor, uh, have them give, send you and uh, do an MRI or you know a CT scan or whatever they're going to do. You might want to think about trying some of these things on your own first. Lots of times you'd be, a, you'd be surprised at how well your body reacts to all these different little things first. Give that a try. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a professional or anything. I'm just an average Joe wanting to help you out. Well, that's all I have for this time, but I'll be back with more videos.